Hello everyone and welcome to Legends of the Wind. Thank you for joining us tonight. Tonight's going to be a really awesome, a special time with our new friend Sean Smith. Uh, what we're doing is we're telling stories that they, I've never met these people before and I end up giving them their story where they learn to look at their life and think mythically. What we've been doing in the past few uh, episodes is um, some people have gotten a free story. We did a promotion back in December where people can come and sign up for a f uh, five free stories and I will deliver them live on the show to them for the first time. And so tonight uh, we have Sean Smith and I'll bring him on board here. Just a second. Hey Sean, how you doing? Hey, how's it going? How are you? Good, man. Thanks for joining Good. us tonight. So um, tell, tell the audience and tell all of us about how you found out about Legends of the Wind and what was the thing that made you want to sign up for, for our story? Well, I found about uh, Legends of the Wind through uh, Andre's, uh, Andre Harden's ministry. Um, we actually do like this Bible study of studying mysteries into the Bible, diving in deep. Um, and he actually had shared your story and shared uh, things you went through and then after that you actually came onto the call the bible study and talked to us and shared you were saying doing a promotion and i was just like yeah i'm going to definitely join and support um everything you're doing and uh just supporting by the book and by the illustration and everything so yeah cool thanks man and uh did you say you just bought the book i didn't actually get the book yet i just got okay. the illustration yeah. uh, okay, i didn't know yeah. how that went with the uh illustration i didn't know exactly the whole process but I'm going to, if I have to do it separately, I'll do that. Yeah. Well, that's fine. After I read you your story, I'll share with the audience uh, 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 your illustration. So it's almost done. So uh, thank okay. you so much, man. Uh, what we're wanting to do here is we want to help encourage people and to inspire their lives uh, through storytelling. And what I've done before, we had done some previous episodes with Diana, Andrea, and Christina, and all those stories I wrote completely blind. And they happen to have things in those stories that really touched their hearts and tapped into their lives without me ever interviewing them. So, Sean, have I ever interviewed you? Have we ever talked before? Have you ever shared your life before this night? No, we haven't did anything except for telling me what time we're going to be on. <laughs> That's been cool. <laughs> well, you gave me the time. We were supposed to go live. That's awesome. It. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, without yeah. further ado, let me introduce you to your story. Okay. okay, great. Can't wait so, to hear this right. <laughs> awesome. It's called Farther Away. Oh, just so oh, wow. you know that uh, if there's <laughs> anything that doesn't ring true in this story, uh, it is something that there's something to glean in life uh, for you personally from this story. So here we go. Farther Away. Sean walked through the dazzling forest. It was a bright and sunny day, and the life of the forest was teeming with excitement. The birds chirped, animals scampered about. The brook gurgled as it streamed through the valley floor. Sean was in a place of refuge and safety, but his thoughts about his family kept knocking on his heart, for he was alone. What will become of them, asked Sean. Together in the past, Sean and his family were on several trips during the summer breaks from school. They visited many places, and though they lived in the city, Sean loved the outdoors. He longed to visit the mountains each summer, but in his family, there were often disagreements and fighting. This agonized Sean's heart, and he didn't know what to do with the pain and the anger and the aggression. His mother and father seemed at odds at all times, and Sean was painfully aware of the distance in their hearts. Sean would often leave at night to get away and seek the visions of the night sky so he could hear his heart better and asked often what he could do to help his parents. Now he lived away from them, much farther away. The parents had separated in their souls and they, together they could no longer agree. This wound in Sean went deep and now he faced the challenge of the heart. Would he repeat these wounds himself? Would he become farther away from the relationships he had now? That is why this trip alone to the mountains was so key. He came to find himself. He came to find his heart. Sean walked up the trail in the shade of the trees. The sunlight danced around and scattered on the ground. The brook continued to gurgle its lovely, delightful sound. 
Sean wound his way up higher and higher and soon was among boulders of rock and the air became cooler. Sean could look out to the valley below as the view was spectacular. The surrounding mountains towered over him and they seemed to offer guidance and protection. Sean climbed up onto a massive boulder and took out his water bottle to refresh himself. As he drank, a little squirrel scampered up and sat in front of him just watching. Now, Sean wasn't always sure about little animals. He once owned a hamster that bit his finger and left a little scar on his hand. There was the pain and trauma from that event. But this little squirrel moved a little closer and closer. Sean held still and watched the creature. Suddenly, the squirrel spoke. Hello there. My name's Buzzy. I love this day. How about you? Sean's eyes grew wide open, and he just realized that this tiny little animal spoke to him. Sean stammered out the word, Yes, yes, it's a nice day. Did you say your name is Buzzy? Sean stared in amazement. Buzzy twisted his little tail. Yes, that's right. Sean then said, My, my name's Sean. Buzzy spun around in a circle, excited. excited. Oh, of course it is. I've been waiting all these years to talk to you, Sean. Sean set down his water bottle and leaned in. Really? Buzzy replied, You think you're nuts to talk to a squirrel, right? Sean nodded his head. Buzzy continued, But it's even crazier to think that your parents would never come back together again. Sean sat up straight, almost offended. What do you mean? How do you know this? Buzzy scampered closer to Sean. We have all seen over... We've all, we have all seen your tears over the years, dear Sean. Now watch, for the great king will set the matter straight. Here, take this from me and eat it. Somehow, little Buzzy pulled out from behind his back a single piece of candy with a wrapper that covered it with two twisted ends. Sean reached out and took it. Buzzy said, If you eat this, a promise will enter your heart, and you will find delight again. Sean nodded his head in half belief and half amazement. He removed the wrapper and found a piece of chocolate inside. Sean smiled and said, I love chocolate. Buzzy said, Sean, if you eat this, take this candy and enjoy its flavor, you will understand the delight the great king has for you. He wants you to know his pleasure. Sean then opened his mouth and ate the chocolate and savored the candy as it melted in his mouth. Sean, Buzzy, Buzz, Buzzy smiled with delight and said, For too long you have fought in your heart the anger and the pain that comes from your parents. You once said they are a bitter pill to swallow, but now comes your readjustment and thinking. Now comes your revelation. Sean chewed the candy and smiled. Thank you, Buzzy. Thank you. Buzzy then hopped onto Sean's knee, and they looked eye to eye, face to face. Buzzy said, Look at me, Sean. I can see it your heart. I can see it changing and healing. Buzzy spun in a circle. Sean smiled and took a deep breath and looked into Buzzy's eyes. Sean said, I can see myself today in your eyes, too. Buzzy smiled. Of course you do. Buzzy then skipped off Sean's knee and landed on the rock as if he were going. Buzzy turned around and said, Think of pleasure, think of delight, think of things that give you new sight. You are not meant to suffer and experience grief. Enjoy the king's pleasure and make him your chief. You will find the power to within to walk, to run, to start again. This is the time to shine, dear Sean. It is time to go further along. You are no longer away from your family. You are now going to see fresh faces again. Hearts will heal and forgiveness comes. Finish your hike in the mountains and enjoy the sun. And with that little poem of remembrance, Buzzy bowed deep and disappeared into the forest in a flash. This encounter with Buzzy the squirrel amazed Sean. He took the empty raptor that contained his healing chocolate and realized he could delight in himself for the first time. Sean looked out over the mountain below, looked over the valley below and stood up. He was seeing things differently, and as he came down off the mountain, he purposed in his heart that life would be better again. Inceptio. 
Inceptio. <laughs> Inceptio. That's what I end with every story. So, you know, other books and stories, they'll say the end. Well, what I do with these stories, is I give you your future. I give you a story, a parable, whatever. And I say Inceptio, which is Latin for the beginning. So I set you on a course and it's up to you to finish your story. No, yeah. No, I know. I know. I, I heard it from the last uh, broadcast. But yeah, no, that's... Uh... That's definitely good. That's a lot, though. <laughs> That's a lot uh, in that story. Just a lot from my uh, parents, uh, my feelings about that. Um, yeah. Yeah. Me getting away, me wanting to be away, uh, sometimes holding the bitterness, holding the anger. And uh, that's just a lot just in that story. That was wow. That was, that was amazing. So it does resonate with you? Yeah, there's things in the story that resonates with me. Yeah, 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 definitely. Cool. Yeah, cool. my mother and father, uh, they, man, they split when I was younger. Mm -hmm. uh, there were things that I kind of uh, probably uh, didn't like uh, mm -hmm. growing up yeah, and things that I held on to and things that, uh, that you know, I battled and struggled with just going about. Um, and I would, you know, sometimes get away with other things, get away with uh, friends and get away with, uh, I do sports to get away and get away from my feelings. And I used to hide my feelings. I wouldn't express myself at a young age uh, compared to now, I mean, mm -hmm. but yeah, that's, it definitely resonates with me. And the whole uh, me and Buzzy and <laughs> uh, going to the mountaintop, going alone and, you know, going away with God and, uh, you know, having a visitation and talking to someone and, you know, letting them, you know, bring forth healing to me so I can uh, see things different and see things clearly. It all resonates with me. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's encouraging. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I definitely want to be sensitive to your, your family and to your, to your history. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I don't want to ever bring any shame to you or your parents or anything like that. Um, so what about what is it what else is in the story that's uh specifically ringing true like what about the chocolate does that mean anything to you about savoring delight how does that land in your heart um yeah i mean it land it lands in me um as well um it, it just wasn't something that jumped out to me but it definitely lands in me okay that, uh, that's something that you know i probably need to do more of mm -hmm. that i don't and I didn't do when I was younger. <laughs> so um, and um, also with uh, repeating, you said it says something about uh, savoring and seeing differently. So mm -hmm. things won't repeat. I mean, I have a family that I'm growing. You know, I'm about to raise and etc. And my first thought was uh, when I was younger was to oh uh, man, maybe I won't do it. Maybe it might the same thing happen to my family it might happen to me. Mm -hmm. And I know that, you know, you're not supposed to, you know, keep those thoughts, but that was one of the things that happened when I was younger. I should think about that. And um, yeah, definitely um, taking the chocolate, taking the delight and uh, seeing things differently and seeing things clearly and seeing things how God sees it. Uh, definitely uh, is something I need to make sure I do all the time and do more of. Yeah. That's, <laughs> okay, good. That's awesome. Yeah. And uh, who, who do you think Buzzy is for you? Like, is it um, like how would you unpack that in your own life? Uh, Buzzy, uh, <laughs> um, Buzzy to me reminds me of you know the Lord God, uh, like a visitation from the angel of the Lord or something. That's what it seemed like. It seemed like I went away to a still place where. Uh, the angel of the Lord kind of spoke to me or I have a mm -hmm. visitation from an energetic being that, that was uh, kind of letting me see things differently. I mean, that's how I kind of look at it as. I don't know if that's, is that how it was written? I don't know, but that's what my uh, um, thoughts about it was. <laughs> well, it's all an, up to interpretation and, and it's okay because yeah. it could be multiple interpretations. It could be the voice of the spirit. It could be a person in your life. It could be... Yeah. Uh, something else you know a, a movie yeah, a so book right. music it, it could be anything any it's a voice so like it's yeah. a voice that came to you through the uh through the squirrel and you know i, I actually <laughs> enjoy doing the, the little voice 
that was funny. No, the buzzy, the buzzy, <laughs> the buzzy yeah. voice was funny. It was good. <laughs> yeah, I think. That I think. Uh, let me see if I can drill down on something. So that chocolate's pretty important. Um, mm -hmm. You mentioned about how. Uh, you were you're better in you're in a better place at this time of your life than when you were growing up right and yeah, and so yes. i think the i think the the solution to not repeating that issue right a, a divorce yeah. or separation is the light i think yeah. that uh, a lot of us uh, we would probably uh, suffer on some on to some degree of we don't like ourselves or we may even hate ourselves and uh, right. and so what do we do about that, right? So the the little squirrel that comes to you is telling you to delight in yourself, and is that wrong? Is that inappropriate? No, I think I think I think loving yourself in a healthy way is absolutely totally healthy and appropriate, and, and it will be beneficial to your relationships. Yeah. Uh, so I think the idea of taking a chocolate and and, and savoring it, like that um, that experience. And yeah then, no know. yeah for sure no i get it no yeah i would be it would be i mean i i kind of uh don't yeah i don't do as much with me just with everything else and everyone else and uh but it's important to it's important to right love yourself and do these things it is important so i gotta always make sure i stay mindful of you know everything and sometimes i won't be so yeah i mean it's something i have to sit and uh definitely digest sit and to think about and right you know definitely get into a long time and sit and yeah and let god kind of deal with me and etc so yeah yeah i think it. it's uh letting him love on you is the key yeah. uh so would you recommend anyone else uh to get a story yeah yeah no i think it would be i think it would be great uh, i think uh many people can benefit from uh, especially even hearing a story that um, serves significance for their lives, but also in the the creative way that it's uh, given through you, I think is very amazing. Cool. I think it's amazing. It's a it's an awesome gift. Uh, Thank you. The God uses you in that way. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Yeah. So we had one our our first one a couple of weeks ago uh, was Christina and my wife did an illustration book for her uh, for her yeah. story called Childhood. Can you see that? Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, seems like it's a girl with a teddy bear looking yeah. at the back cover too. yeah now i'm gonna uh switch to the scene and i don't know if uh sean you'll be able to see this but uh, i'm gonna show okay. a preview of your illustration it's a small image can you okay. see this can you see it uh no not yet okay not the audience my, is, uh, uh, is able to see it so um Okay, the audience can see it. Yeah, I can't really see the audience uh, comments or anything. I see some people, six people are on. Are on. Yes. Okay. Okay, cool. Well, uh, I'll make sure you get a, a preview of that. I'm sorry I couldn't show you to you here. So. Yeah, it's no problem. Yeah. So, and then um, one thing we have is we published our first book last fall. Uh, it's for Legends of the Wind, Volume One. And in this are 20 short stories that are the same vein of what we're doing yeah. tonight. And uh, all of them were written for children and adults, both uh, young and old. It's all ages. Everybody can understand and access it. They're all fantastical, wonderful adventure stories. There's also an audiobook uh, on on Audible and uh, iTunes and Amazon, and that's really cool because uh, it's not just me reading the story. There's a whole sound design and score okay. and musical. It's just beautiful. It just really sucks you into the world of those stories, and so. It's 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 a very immersive. I'll put it that way. Yeah. And um, if you want to, if you, anyone in the audience that wants to order a story from me, uh, you can go to legendsofthewind.com and go to our store, and there you can select and order a story. And you could also add on to an illustration. Now, a lot of people like Christine and Diana and others, they they actually order their story, but then they were gonna wait. Yeah, go ahead, bring it in. My <laughs> wife Alicia. Here you go, oh, Sean. Okay. Let's see here. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. See, the green, the green I, screen's kind of spilling through. No, I go. can see that person has big eyeballs. They have really big eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Alicia. It's something I've been told all my life that I got big, uh, 
I always had big uh, eyeballs. <laughs> that, that character. <laughs> well, it's it's, it's true. That character has some huge eyeballs. <laughs> Don't feel bad. Um, it is. You, you know. I'm, yeah. <laughs> go, go ahead. ahead. Okay. No, no, go ahead. Uh, so yeah, I was telling about you know people can get their illustration too. So some people just want to order a story, and then they don't know if they want to uh, do another illustration. So they'll wait to hear and find out. And so that's something yeah. that we've found uh, people uh, have been choosing another pathway. And uh, yeah, and so we also have like dream interpretation. We have other products there, right. and uh, it's just it's just fun because these are. That is, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we just we will probably. What's that? No, I was gonna say we're probably uh, looking to doing the audio because we uh, we have kids and we are always mm -hmm. kind of driving or oh, traveling yeah. somewhere, so it might be easier for us to uh, ride and listen because we do both. We do buy books, but we do also do audio. We we have to sometimes just because if we're on the road and we're traveling, it's it's easier at times just to Absolutely. play something instead of just yeah just uh taking the time out to read it so yeah we definitely the fact that it has the dramatic you know the music and effects to it sound effects that'd be great so oh, yeah. yeah and we, we have like three over three and a half hours worth of content that's 20 oh, wow. stories and and, the, and it's just it's just it's just a load of fun so thanks man okay. for uh, pull, pull, pulling the, putting the plug out there for that too um yeah. So Sean, uh, I know that everyone who gets their story for the first time, they have to go back and they have to listen, they have to process. So we kind of took a break. Is there anything else that you want to share with me and the audience about your story in any way? Uh, I'm trying to think. Um, not really. I don't think something that comes actually to mind other than the stuff that I already kind of, the stuff that jumped out to me at first is the stuff yeah. that kind of held on to it and I, uh, kind of uh said something about but uh there was so much in the beginning yes uh compared the end was was a lot but there were more it was more in the beginning mm. that uh, jumped out to me that i was trying to make sure i remember i probably should have jotted it down but <laughs> um it was just more in the beginning than I remember, but I don't remember exactly every word, but I know the stuff that I already said. So cool. nothing else that comes to mind exactly. Cool. Um, then the stuff that we already kind of talked about though, but it, re you know, it resides with me though. It resonates. Awesome. Thank you, yeah. Sean. Thank you so much, yeah. Sean. Well, um, everybody, thank you for joining us tonight. Sean, thank you for being my guest tonight. I'm so glad I got to be trusted to give you your story. And for those who are uh, wanting to know more about us, just again, check us out at legendsofthewind.com. And you can also see other our previous season, which we did actually a couple of years ago. That whole season is a bit different, uh, where we had existing stories that were in this, were, which were in the book, and we were reading them. And they also have like the great music and sound design. And in those, uh, in that season, we were teaching people to listen to the story and to think mythically about their lives. And what does that mean, thinking mythically? It means how is your life like a story? Who are you on your hero's journey? What is your quest? What is your goal? And what is it that you need to overcome in your life so that you have a satisfied, happy ending? And so that's kind of the approach we take here, uh, using uh, storytelling to think mythically. And that's what we want to do with Sean and the others as well, where we want to tell them their story and inspire them and to give them hope and encouragement. So Sean, thanks man so much for coming tonight. Good to see Thanks. you. It's a pleasure. No, it's a pleasure. Uh, I mean, I appreciate everything. It was an amazing time. Uh, I'm thankful for the story and, of course, the illustration. And, yeah, I'm just thanks for the connection. I, I appreciate it all. Yeah. Cool. And when you see Andre, tell him hi for me. <laughs> definitely. I'll definitely see them Wednesday. Awesome. <laughs> Your daily Wednesday, Saturday, guys. Huh? Yeah. Awesome. So, yeah. Okay, guys. Well, that's it it's for amazing. tonight. Appreciate you. Thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you, Alicia, uh, for saying hello on chat. If there's anyone there, I haven't seen anybody else make a comment. Lisa says hi. Oh, okay. Hi, Lisa. Good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Well, guys, you know, if you are online right now and watching live, please comment. I, I, I don't see anybody's, but Alicia's here. But thank you, Lisa, for saying hi. Um, but, you know, it's really special. So thanks, guys. Thank you, Sean. And I'll see you tonight.